been a teaser week. We had beautiful spring and now it's back to cold again here today. So everybody seems like they're dealing with that. So today I'm doing something fun that you can play with inside if you want to stay inside. I made this a while back for my daughter and I thought it's a fun way that you can use up little rocks that you find and um, it's cute to carry around in your purse for a quick uh, little distraction when you go out to eat and stuff. So this one is just a little canvas bag. I just drew on the outside with my Posca pens to make the tic-tac-toe. And I did little apples and oranges on these rocks. And we play with them all the time. And I sealed them. They've been beat around in the bag and they're holding up pretty good. So these cute little guys just go right in the bag and go right into my purse. So today I thought I would share with you a different design I'm working on. And this one is going to be little suns and moons. So let's see if I can get that a little closer so you guys can see a little better. Little suns and moons uh, to play a little tic-tac-toe with. I'm totally off the screen. Oh my gosh, you guys. Sorry. There you go. <laughs> there they are. They're super cute. They're very easy to do. Um, so I'm just going to go right into it and we'll do one of each really quick. I'm not going to make you sit here while I make a whole set. Um, you do want to do 10 rocks total if you do this because whoever goes first will use five rocks in tic-tac-toe. So I'm going to start off and I'll kind of go back and forth to let layers dry, but I'm going to start off with my moon. So I'm using my glitter pens today because I like my glitter pens and I haven't used them in a while, so I thought I would bring them out today. Start by just doing a small C. Let me make sure. I, I've got my phone in here backwards, so I'm trying to make sure. So start with just doing a small C. Do the center first and then a big C around it. I know that sounds simple enough, but you never know. Well, uh get that shape how you want and then just go ahead and fill it in and you're gonna crisp up your outline with one of the a darker pen so it doesn't have to come to a really good point here I, it's actually better not to try to get these ones to extreme point because they are more like the fine tip instead of extra fine so they won't get to a super point so just get it almost there and you'll make your point with your blue later so we'll just let that set for a second. And then we're gonna start on our sun. Now with the sun, the orange for some reason when you first put it down does not, where are we at? Doesn't show up, but when it dries, you see it better. It's kind of weird how it works. So just start in the center of your rock with your circle and just slowly make it bigger and bigger because then you'll also be laying down a little bit more color until you get near the outside because our rays are going to be a little bit smaller because we want the center to be bigger so we could put our little cute face on there just like so and it doesn't have to be a perfect perfect circle just do the best you can if you need something to trace if you want to you could do that too now once you have your circle we're going to just make an x through it or a cross through it so just from the top to the bottom then left to right and then we're going to break each of those in half and do an X the opposite direction. Oop. There we go, like so. Now each one of those we're gonna turn into a ray. So just take from the point and pull back to the center, making it into a triangle. Like that. Just work your way around. And don't worry, like I said before, about making it extremely pointy at the tip. We're gonna go around the outside with the extra fine tip to make them pointier. Like that. Good morning, Bernadette. Good morning, Bertha. There's only two I can see on my screen right now. The comments just don't always stick around very long. So thanks for joining in. There we go. So once you've got that, you can kind of go over the triangles a little bit more to give them kind of a second coat of that orange. And we're gonna set that one off to the side. Now we're just gonna come in, I've got my um, extra fine tip, so this is the 1M blue, and I'm just gonna do the outline edge to my moon, and that's how you'll get that nice point, is by using the smaller pens. And remember, try to put this slightly on its side, 
And let's see if I can make sure I'm in screen better for you. I'm sorry. Slightly on its side. And gentle touch. You don't have to push hard with these pens. Push hard with the pen on the bare rock. It might splatter. I always say the, the paint wants to go on there. So don't force it. It will come right off the tip of the pen. If it's not, shake it up a bit. Just like that. We got the outside edge of our moon. Hello, Mandy. And then we're going to do the same thing with our sun. Just add a quick little outline around the edge. And I'm just using the regular orange. So I'm just going to start by giving up my points, little points, like that around the edge. Like so. And if you're just joining in now, we're working on little pebbles. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm awful today. We're staying in frame. Um, working on little pebbles to uh, play tic-tac-toe. And I'll show off the ones that I've already got finished here in just a minute. So once you work your way all the way around, see, it kind of has to catch the light and you can really see that shimmer. There we go. So once you've gone around the edge, oops, sorry, bump the camera there. We're gonna go in and make our circle around our sun. So you're just gonna kind of connect the inner tips of your triangle and just slowly curve it around. Just kind of almost like a connect the dot. And if you kind of go over like there, you can go back in with your glitter. It will cover it right up, your glitter pen. So I'll fix that in a moment. There we go. Now we're gonna work on the face on our moon while our uh, orange on our sun. So we're gonna just kind of go back and forth. If you're trying to do this with uh, um, paint, like actual paint, and you have to have a very, very steady hand. Um, I personally don't think I'd be able to accomplish this there with this small of a size, but some people are much, much better with a fine line brush than I am. Yes, Nancy, they are so cute. And yes, anybody can do these. Anybody can handle this. So we're just gonna add our face on. Um, the moon is kind of sideways, so just kind of a half of a arch. And then give a nice little circle for the eye. Like that. And then we gotta add a little pink in the cheek. And so for that, I'm using my glitter kind of, there's two pinks in there. This one's the darker pink. Add a little pink in the cheek there. And last but not least is the little dot in the eye, the little white dot. Now, this is by far probably gonna be the hardest part of doing these, so you don't have to do this spot. If you wanna leave it just as it is, you can. Um, but I, I like the little white dot. So what I suggest to do is take your extra fine if you have the soup, like the one MRs, that would probably work better. But um, I only have the extra fine. So practice on a piece of paper, lean it to its side almost as far as you can so that you can place one little dot just like that. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's the tiniest little dot, but you want to hold it on its side. If you go over too far, you can always go back over your black and try again. Or you can even take your black and outline it to fix it a little bit. So I can't talk and do this dot at the same time. So just like that, one little itty bitty dot. And he's finished. So we'll add him to our moon pile over here. And we'll finish up our sun here. So I've got this area I kind of messed up before. So I'm just gonna fix that really quick. And these glitters, even though they seem like they're light in color, they really will go over um, another color just fine. And when it dries, you won't be able to tell. So let's get our face on our sun. Okay, so let's see here, right about there. Try to pay attention to what I'm doing so you can see. These are kind of hard to do. I didn't think about it too much. They're a little harder to do live because normally when you do something tiny, you want to hold it really close to your face, but I've got to hold it out a little way so that you guys can see what I'm doing. So we've got the mouth. I always do the mouth first on this kind of face because you want the eyes to be past the outside edge of the mouth line. So once you've got your mouth, you can place your eye just a little bit off to the side. Here we go. 
like so. And we'll do one over here. Like so. And we're gonna get our little pink. Oh, this side's a little bit smaller. There we go. And we'll do the little pink in the cheeks and the we'll add our little dots. So again, just practice on a piece of paper a little bit. Make sure your tip is flowing, first of all. You want to make sure of that and then get right in there. And again, this is even harder when you're holding it further from your face. Oh, see, and I bumped my camera trying to get in there. So sorry for that, guys. Let's see if I make sure I'm in here really good for you. And just one little tiny little... Oh, now my pen's not going. I said make sure your pen's flowing, and then mine wasn't. There we go. Two little dots, just like that. There we go. So I'll continue to do these until, like I said, um, for the tic-tac-toe, if you're joining in late, we're doing a tic-tac-toe set. So you want to do five of each, and you could do this with any design. And these are the ones that I have already. Look at that, I got a little bit of coming off, but I've, I've got apples and oranges that we have been playing with these ones for a few months. So I thought I'd surprise my daughter by doing a new set. So, um, so either apples or oranges, suns and moons. I mean, you could, they're endless how many different ideas that you can do for these. So like I said, I did link to the little bags. I just used my, um, larger Posca pen my 5M to draw this on here, and I didn't do anything else to it. I, I've heard you can iron to make it set, but I mean, this has been in and out of my purse multiple times, and it's holding up pretty good, and it's cute. They come in little packs, so you can make more than one set. So I hope you give these little guys a try or do them larger on big rocks. Come back and show them off, and thanks, everybody, for joining live and sharing. I will see you all soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye.